Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock channel. Now in this tutorial we are going to see adapter class. As in the previous before starting the listener just I have told that adapter class is somewhat dependent upon the listener. So I have took first listeners and after completing here I have started the adapter class. See it's the feature, one of the feature of a Java that is the adapter class. But what was in a listener that even if you wanted to use, uh, let me give an example. Now suppose uh, let me take off mouse motion listener where there are two methods mouse drag and mood right but if i wanted to use a mouse mode then to i have to override the drag method also that means two methods are essential compulsory should be overridden even if i wanted to use a single method to solve this problem the adapter class is there that means as per the requirement we have to use the methods even if it's one two three means as per the requirement here it is not compulsory or mandatory to override all the methods now here only now here if you see mouse motion listeners have a two methods mouse that is dragged and moved the same uh, whatever the signature is there then use here it will have the methods of this mouse mouse motion adapter now here if you see that here are the listeners and the adapter class these are the adapter class just let me tell you these are the adapter class now here if you see component adapter then the container adapter focus adapter key adapter mouse mouse motion window so these are the adapter that means as per the requirement we have we can use this mouse adapter and using this uh, we are going to use the methods as per the requirement for for that purpose we have to first create a class and that should be extended with this adapter and that whatever the class you have created that means uh whenever you're registering a particular component with a listener so at that time you have to pass that class which you have created that is uh, recently extended with this adapter so i will give one example so we will see example so that it will clear the concept more okay so let have a watch on it so my dear friends here i have taken one example regarding the adapter in the previous uh, some practical practical session i have told regarding the mouse event where we have overrided all the methods that comes under the mouse listener why because it's as per the rule we have to override all the method even if you wanted one or two but many of the times so what happens we need to use one method two method as per the requirement so for that purpose we are going to use the adapter classes as per the which component we are using on what event handling we are going to perform now here if you see i have created one class adapter one extends frame then here i have created its constructor and here i have created one object of a frame now here i wanted to perform the action on a frame so here what i have did f dot add mouse motion listener here i have registering now here if you see the parameter here's the main point that is new m1 and back at this keyboard I have used. Now here M1, which is nothing but here if you see, uh, in below only M1 extends mouse motion adapter. That means this class I have passed here. Why? Because I have extended here mouse motion adapter. Means whatever the class is there that you are extending with the adapter, that class should be passed here. Now whatever here I have registered okay with the frame now what exactly the action should be performed so that method that mouse mode wherever the mouse will be moved whatever the contents are there that i will pass in the method as per my requirement so here if you see here i have used only one method but there are two methods in mouse motion listener no i will not use because here i have used mouse motion adapter and i only wanted to use this mouse mode so this only that m1 you have to pass here that reference and this keyword that you have have extended with mouse motion adapter so this was regarding the adapter class so regarding the same if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video thank you